I hope you have found me. So you may have seen me a minute ago and I started up, but for some reason, when I looked at my screen, I was all squashed and it didn't look very good. So I decided to start again because if I'm all squashed on the screen, you're not going to be able to see the work that I'm going to do. So hopefully you have your pieces of paper and card on your table and your felt tip pens or crayons and if you're using marker pens or sharpies or something that could stain your furniture make sure you've got a tablecloth or something to protect your table or your work surface before you begin so i'm just going to set up slowly so to give people time to find the video this morning because sometimes it's like looking for a maze when you're looking for a video on facebook but we're going to be doing all about rainbows rainbow doodles and bow bears this morning so we need lots of colorful pens and card And I'll show you a little picture. This is a rainbow doodle. So it's up to you. Instead of colouring in the rainbow with lots of colours, you could do lots of doodles. So you could doodle panda bears, an octopus. You could draw your pet if you have a pet at home or your favourite food. You might like to draw a cake or an apple in your rainbow. So to make a rainbow doodle, you can decide what colour stripes you would like on your rainbow. So it doesn't have to be all the same colours you see here. But the idea is to fill that colour, if it's a purple stripe or a yellow one, with pictures and doodles with the same colour pen. So that's a rainbow doodle. And I'm going to show you the bow bear. So we're mainly going to be doing the rainbow doodles today. But just so you know for afterwards, if you have a look on the rainbows website, they have some colouring in pages that you can download for free. So they have their bow bears, which is their mascot. And their paws are coloured in lots of different rainbow colours and their feet. And they have lots of different ones. So if it's someone's birthday, you might choose the bear with the balloons. You might choose the bow bear riding the bicycle. Or the cookery bow bear. Which reminds me, over the weekend, we have some cookery sessions. So we have a session on how to make your own family muesli. And we also have somebody at work in their kitchen and they're going to show you how to make a uh, burger and things and on the rainbows website they also have recipes on how to make your own flapjacks and lots of tasty nibbles so have a look if you can and here is a picture we did before so before as part of my mini moo sessions we did doodles of fun so we drew everyday items so it could be a lollipop a pot of strawberry jam it could be some ice cream or a carton of milk and we gave them smiley faces so wherever you're watching wherever you are right now you could be in your garden you might be at home have a look around you and see what objects catch your eye and then you could think about drawing them inside your rainbow and these were some little faces that we drew before so if you have a look they're in the shape of what i described as a hill or a rainbow because it starts at one end goes up and over and towards the bottom so you could draw different faces and change their mood. So you could have a smiley face, you could have one wearing sunglasses. Hello everybody, I can see you all joining in. Hello Annie, Missy Jackson, Paul and Kirky. And I never know if some mini moos are watching too from our other session. So we'll have a go today at doing this and then I'll chat away as we're making. So if you missed the beginning, all you'll need is a big piece of paper or card 
I'm choosing to draw on white because I want the rainbow colours to stand out. But if you've got a coloured piece of card, that's fine because it's your work. And you might decide that you want to do a rainbow on a different coloured piece of paper. Say orange, pink, blue, green, for example. And you might decide to do your rainbow with just a black pen. So it's completely up to you. The main idea for today's session is just to have some fun. So for an idea, I'm just going to draw a cloud. And again, your cloud can look however you want it to look. So there's a cloud. I wonder which way I can move this easel so you can see the whole rainbow. Here we are. And I've also got a rainbow card to help me remember what colours I could use. So let's start from about here, I think. I've got to be careful because the handle of my clipboard is there. I don't want it to go through the back. And it might go towards the side of the page. So I could, if I wanted, make the cloud smaller and do one each side and do a whole rainbow. But I'm just going to do the side. And my easel wants to go for a walk today. <laughs> Come back here. And I'll prop it up there. Here we go. And let's draw some stripes. So you don't have to draw the stripes with the black pen. You could use your felt tip colours. I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six. So Richard of York gave battle in vain. So there is seven. They haven't got indigo on here. So I'm going to add one more. The picture I'm looking at has six. But I'm going to do seven. One, two, three. Four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So my rainbow's looking like that. It's quite wide, and I could do the stripes wider so I can get my doodles in. So the first one is going to be red, and so I'm going to draw. A strawberry oh and it looks like a love heart too now normally I would draw green leaves on top of a strawberry but because this part of the rainbow is going to be filled with lots of red things I'm going to do a red leaf and then I'm going to do a red love heart hello Kate and let me know if you're here. Say a little hello. My auntie said hello. It's really nice. And oh, mushrooms. I love mushrooms. Or I could call them toadstools in story, but the father's reading a story about fairies. Fairies like to perch on top of the mushroom and watch the world go by. So I'm just doing a little doodle of a mushroom. A heart, a strawberry. Give me some ideas. If you would like me to try and draw something you, you can think of, you could write me a message of what to draw. I'm going to draw a spoon. And it's going to have a smiley face, like the doodles I showed you earlier. And then I can look back at my picture and think what else I could do. I could do, oh, a planet. I could draw a planet, so I might draw Saturn. I could draw a planet. I could draw, hmm, what could I draw? A cup of tea. I had a nice cup of tea this morning. And then I think I made another nice cup of tea. I left it downstairs in the kitchen because that's what I tend to do. Hello, Kate. 
So um, sometimes I drink cups of tea and bring them upstairs and then I've got to remember when I'm painting not to dip my paintbrush into the cup of tea because I'm looking for my water pot and then sometimes I make a cup of tea and leave it downstairs in the kitchen. Oh goodness me. I wonder if anybody else is that at home. So I'm just going to write hi. And I'll bring it closer and I'll keep drawing as we go. But that's what it's beginning to look like at the moment. So we've got a strawberry, a speech bubble saying hi, a spoon, a love heart, a toadstool, a planet and a cup. And I can't help but notice the hat I'm wearing because it's so big. I don't know if anybody has seen, but our mascot for the Casting Rainbow Festival is a Rainbosaurus Rex. So he's casting rainbows all across the sky. And when you make a donation, it can be anything. No donation is too small, but a suggested donation for this session and to get a printout of a Rainbosaurus Rex would be three pound please so the three pound would go directly to the rainbows hospice and then you could if you wanted have your own coloring in picture so your dinosaur when you get it would be white if i have a little look here so this cloud is a different shape but i could send you a dinosaur picture and then you could colour it in the same as mine or you can choose your own colours or you might like to use collage materials and do clouds and raindrops and sunshine and maybe different animals or more dinosaurs in your picture so if you'd like one a little donation of three pound would go to just given and then i could send you it by email and i'll leave my email after the show so it's marie at scraggymoo.com. And the other thing I made with mine, I don't know if you can see, if I tilt this down, was some bunting. So you could photocopy your Rainbosaurus Rex and cut it out and make your own bunting. And then I turned mine into a hat. So lots of ideas. You might then even if i was to send you a picture i'm just thinking of lots of ideas now is make oh look at this a magical teacup has just come flying into my workstation how did that happen if you have any idea of how that's mysteriously landed on my desk why don't you say who it could have been it's like magic the cup of tea I left in the kitchen has just arrived. Isn't it amazing? A magical universe. So this little doodle, I was thinking of fire and lots of flame, but it looks a little bit like a flower. Hmm. So what else could I do? I could do a flower now, I think of it. And let me know if you've been copying at home, if you've been doing a rainbow doodle at home, send me a picture afterwards and let me know what it looks like. You can send in a photo to the Casting Rainbows page or to the Scraggy Moo page. You'll find this and you're on it now. You found me. Orange. It could be doodles as well. So I've drawn objects, but I'm thinking like you could just do shapes and patterns so i'm going to do a big orange spiral i might do some stripes i might do some bubbles mm, got so much Ooh, i need to be like an octopus sometimes i feel like i need eight arms to get around everything that i've got to do or to get around my desk because I have so many pots of creative things. 
I'm going to do stars. So a little bit like patterns. If, if ever you've done those mindful colouring in pages, it's just a series of patterns. So you can make them up yourself. I'll do a big flower here. Raindrops. I could do a rainbow inside a rainbow. What else could I do? Do, 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 do? A cloud. I could do a cloud. And then give it a smiley face. And I could do some more stars. And then I might do some wiggly lines. So just have fun. Take your pens for a walk and see where they want to go. Sometimes you might have an idea and sometimes it's just about starting and then seeing how it looks, how you feel you want it to be. So if you've joined in just after we've started, I'll just show you again. We're doing some rainbow doodles. There are lots of doodles inside a rainbow. So they could be objects that you see every day or things from your imagination just seen a scrummy ice cream if i draw it in yellow you might not see it on the screen so i'll draw it in green because mm. it's so sunny it's nice to have an ice cream on a hot day hmm what do you like to have on a hot day what's your favorite ice cream or ice lolly Apart from the bigger the better. What flavour do you like? Do you like ones with sprinkles on, different flavoured ice cream, one with chocolate flakes? Hello everyone, we've got Katie and Lorraine, lots of people. So hello, we're doing some rainbow doodles this morning. And I'll go over everything again at the end, just like a little recap of the free printables that you can get from the rainbows website there's lots of different things there's crosswords there's time capsules there are cookery recipes that you can print out so if you look on their main page and scroll down it says fun activities and then it shows you all the things that you can print out and do at home right something else that's green <laughs> a nice big leaf I like watching the leaves when the wind blows. So I'm doing a leaf. I could do another pattern, I suppose. So I could do lots of lines and then turn them into boxes by doing lines the other way. I could do some big circles. So you might just want to make your rainbow up with lots of shapes. You might want to draw triangles or circles and squares. Just see how it goes as you're doing it all. Richard of York gave battle in vain. So, indigo. Oh, there's a cute little bunny rabbit. Do some floppy ears. A little nose, little mouth, little eyes, and some whiskers. And a smiley face. A big circle with a smiley face. So let me know how you're getting on and what you're drawing in your doodles. I might do a yummy cake. So I'll do a cake case. A nice cake on the top, like a cupcake. And again, a smiley face. I could do a kite. So I might do the kite sideways, so I've got more room to draw the diamond shape. A wiggly, wiggly, wiggly tail. And some more triangles for the bows. Oh, it's a lovely day for... 
I wonder if all kites fly. I was going to say it's a lovely day for flying kites because it's nice and sunny, but we do need a lot of wind. So maybe we need to live up by a windy hill. La, da, 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 da. Let's see what else I could do. Maybe a little tortoise. Whee. And he carries his house on his back. And a little eye. And he has a little pattern, doesn't he, on his shell or her. And little feet. And then walk really slowly. So just bring it closer so you can see at the moment. Your rainbow doodles can be make up, made up of lots of different images. So they can be patterns and pictures and doodles. And you might want to keep doing lots of small ones around the bigger one so it gets filled up with lots of colour. Or your hands might get tired of drawing and you might decide to colour in some of the areas. So I could think, oh, I'm chatting so much. I need to have a little swig of tea. Mm. Cheers, everybody. Thank you for joining in. Red, orange, yellow. So Richard of York gave battle in vain. So I'm going to colour in my yellow part yellow. Because when you're doing art, you can change your mind at any time about how you want something to look. So I could fill every stripe of the rainbow with doodles. But oh, if I get a little bit tired of doing all the doodles, then I can just change my mind and relax and colour it all in. All the way to the side. Whee! Lovely, 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 lovely. And let me know if you're watching. If you're watching now or later on today, you can still comment in the box. Let me know what you've enjoyed as part of this wellbeing festival because, as you know, we're raising money for the Rainbows Hospice, but we're also doing it for our own well-being. So how we look after ourselves during lockdown and for all these changes and there's lots of changes to come. So all the people involved do lots of lovely, creative and healthy living things and activities in their own lives to keep them well. And we want to share that with you. So hopefully if you haven't been able to go to your festival that you've planned this year or uh, after school club or a uh, group that you normally go to in the community where you live, where you do a class, then this is why we're doing it. We want you to have fun at home. So you may take part with the activities at home indoors. You might go out to the park. So every day, We've been having a photography challenge by Ray Gumley, and it's really good. Some days I forget to do it, or I remember, but then I've already gone to bed. I think, oh no, I forgot day two of the challenge. Or actually, day two of the challenge, I forgot to take a picture of some food or drink that I rather liked because I'd already eaten up all the lemon drizzle cake. Hmm. So if I took a photo, there would have only been crumbs left on the plate. Whoops. But the first day I took a picture was of a beautiful flower in my garden. So have a look on the Cast and Rainbow discussion post. And every day Ray puts a little challenge on there. So if you're planning to go for a day out today, maybe if you've got a camera of your own or you can use somebody's phone, you can go out and capture something in nature to do with the challenge. And then you can share that with him to share what you've captured. So there's lots of engaging sessions and today my friend Ruthie, she lives all the way in Wales and she's going to do a lovely session just after me at 11 o'clock doing karate. 
in her garden and she's going to be showing you all her moves a bit like kung fu panda and also how that helps her keep well and happy and how her mind and body is all connected and how the experience is different from perhaps doing karate in a hall to outside in her garden so being in nature when you do your hobbies or interests so people that have taken part in the festival, there's over 30 people that have given their time to join in and they are sharing their hobbies and also what they do for a living. So lots of people might work in a shop, say there was a man called Ferret playing ukulele and lots of instruments yesterday and he works in a music shop and then there's people that do singing for well-being or like me today some drawing and it's what we do for a living so let's do an upside down mischievous looking monster it looks quite fun upside down it has a little face and a smile Oh, that's a good idea. I just thought if you're taking photographs in nature, maybe think about how we normally look at things. So rather than look at something straight on, how would a tree look if we lied on the grass and looked up? What pattern do the leaves and the branches make over us? What if we lied sideways or looked underneath things? So go explore and enjoy the challenge and have lots of fun and let your friends know if you're joining in with the festival and having a good time why not tell your friends all about the festival and if people aren't on facebook it doesn't matter i grew up with four brothers and my mummy and daddy so there's a family of seven And only one other person in my family is on Facebook. So everybody else wouldn't be able to watch it if it was just on Facebook. So what we've done with Kirky's help, because he is the magical wizard of technology in this house. So Kirky helps me with everything. So all the posts and the planning and the work on the computer, he helps me to do that. So he's helped to share these videos from facebook onto my youtube channel called scraggy moo so if you have friends that would like to get involved and would like to do the sitting down yoga who would like to learn cookery do singing for well-being listen to a musical jukebox who is paul table and tom peacock who sings anything from george ezra to moana make sure they know and they join in because even if somebody has fun for five minutes of their day half an hour of the day we just want to make a difference to people because it's been a strange world with all this covid19 but what's good is we learn how to deal with challenges and how to look after ourselves to be able to help look after each other. So this is it so far. And if I wanted to, I could do things outside the rainbow. So I'm going to keep talking for another 10 minutes. I wonder if you could mute me if you'd rather I didn't keep talking for another 10 minutes. But that will give me time just to say hello to Rufy, who will follow my session and make sure she's all set up and happy. Because with my computer today, I don't know if you saw me in the beginning, but I was rather small. My screen was all squashed. So we stopped and changed the setup and started all again. But I don't mind when things like that happen because things might not always work the first time and you've got to choose in life when things don't always work out the way we imagined or hoped the first time is how we can choose to respond to that rather than react. 
and keep an open mind and perspective on things. So looking at the world at different angles or what could be bumps in the road and thinking how we can get around them. So I've done some raindrops. I might add some sunshine. So if you're like me, I always go off track. I start off with a rainbow idea and think, oh, today's theme is rainbow doodle. And then as there's more paper, I just start doodling. I think I don't just have to doodle inside the rainbow. I can doodle outside the rainbow and wherever I like. So it's going to have a big sunshine because that's how rainbows are created. I haven't seen one for a little while, apart from all the lovely rainbow pictures and people's windows. But to see a rainbow, we need it to rain. And then we need the sunshine. So I'm going to do some sun rays in the shape of petals. And I could do a hat, I could do a smiley face. I might do a face later or stick one on. So if you've drawn any pictures along with me at the same time, I would love to see them. Or if I've given you the idea and you do it later on today or during this week, send it in to Scraggy Moo or the Casting Rainbows event page. And it'd be lovely to see everybody's work. It's a beautiful day. So you might be thinking why I'm wearing a jumper when it's so hot. But I wanted to wear my rainbow jumper. I'll take it off afterwards. But I just wanted to remind myself why I was here today. And why everybody is a part of this festival. So this is the rainbow doodle. I'll bring it closer so you can see you can just keep going and going all day long. I've started off with some shapes. I might keep going and adding lots of small ones and then I'll post it online on our Casting Rainbows page later so you can see how it looks. But I'm going to carry on filling all the gaps. So this will help me look after my own well-being. So when I go downstairs and Kirky helps me all day long to run the festival, in between the breaks I'm going to be doodling and colouring in because that's a happy distraction for me and it's a way of just letting my mind like oh I need to do this I need to print off this what do I do need to do next I can just pick up a pen and draw and that relaxes me it slows my mind down because it works so fast and I can keep going so again have a look at the rainbows website I've got lots of fun activities so how many bow bears can you find so you can print them off at home and play games I'll do a stretch over here and if you're a little bit older they do word searches so rainbows word search and crosswords we mentioned earlier so I'm just doing a little wee cap before I go. Do, 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 do. I wonder. That's gone for a walk, I think. Well, there's some down here. Ha! So they have a multi-sensory scavenger hunt. So can you find something colourful? Maybe something fluffy? Something sticky? Maybe today you can have a look if you go out or you're staying at home. And do a scavenger hunt challenge so that's a free download from rainbow they've also got these called a crossword puzzle i couldn't remember what it's called for a second so they do crosswords and all sorts and just to let you know if you didn't watch at the beginning you can ask me for a little rainbosaurus rex which is this which is a free well 
it's free for people that have already donated so i've noticed friends that have given five pound ten pound in our just given page so if you want to email me i can send you a rainbow saurus rex color in and if you've only got three little pounds that's how much a little rainbow saurus rex costs and just to give you an idea of where all the money goes five pound from the day's arts and crafts material so like us this morning rainbows could do activities all day long with the children that they look after with five pound and 25 pound from the play session so whatever you can give even if every person that watches a video was to give a pound we've had over four thousand views so far when i looked yesterday so it's incredible no donation is too small so if you look online and see a just given donation and someone's given 20 pound give a pound that's fine don't feel like oh no i can't give that much because money's very tight at the moment but rainbows have lost a lot of their income because they've had to close all their shops during lockdown and they're cancelled they've cancelled their fundraising events so now more than ever they're looking and just so thankful for the community to come together and do what they can so they say every penny counts and every gesture matters so nothing that you give could be too small so thank you so so much for watching and if you want to ask me anything please ask me afterwards but i'm going to say goodbye for now i'll be back sometime this week on sunday at two o'clock and i'm just going to go and say hello to my friend rufi so spread the joy and look after yourself take care everybody bye bye let's go casting rainbows